Let's talk about missing data. Missing data presents a problem for several reasons. When we're trying to analyze a data set, um, we're usually trying to make valid inferences about a population. So when we have missing data, depending on how that data went missing or why it was missing, the inferences we make from this data set might not hold up for the actual population of interest. Many machine learning algorithms cannot handle uh, missing data. And even many statistical algorithms, pretty much all of them, by default, don't have a way of directly handling missing data, for example, logistic regression. So if you want to work with a data set and use it for inference or use it for machine learning, if it's got missing data, you're going to run into problems. Um, and you have to figure out some way of handling it. So as I mentioned, most statistical tests don't work when there is missing data. And it's important to understand that once the data has gone missing, it's imp impossible not to treat it in some way. So you might think that, you know, let's just toss the missing data, let's just get rid of the rows um, or get rid of the you know, variables with a lot of missingness um, and think that, you know, you're solving the problem. But throwing out data is actually still a form of treatment. Um, so basically, once the data has gone missing, no matter what you do, you're introducing bias into the situation. Um, and the only way to truly get rid of that bias would be get, to get that missing data back, which is not possible to do. So any subsequent procedure, anything that you do with a data set that has missing values in it re represents a response in some form to the missing data problem, even if that response is just throwing out certain rows or certain columns. Um, doesn't solve the problem. It's just one way of handling the situation. So here's the missing data problem in a nutshell. This is kind of an artificial data set that I just made up for this example. But imagine you've got a data set with some demographic characteristics some characteristics about a person's blood pressure, SBP, systolic blood pressure, DBP, diastolic blood pressure, and whether they've ever undergone an organ transplant. So if we've got this data set here, how we're going to handle this is pretty obvious. We need to get rid of that second row, which has all missing values, um, because we can't do anything with it. And the rest of the data is kind of intact. So we can kind of treat it and handle it in a usual way. So in this case, the only real logical thing to do is to just toss that row, which has no data in it whatsoever. This is also a fairly straightforward situation because it looks like if this is the entire data set, every value of systolic blood pressure is missing. So there's going to be you know, no way of handling the situation other than just getting rid of the systolic blood pressure variable and you know, we're still left with a relatively complete data set that we can work with, which has all the rows and has one fewer column um, than we'd ideally like if we had all the data as being present. Look at this data frame carefully and think about how you might deal with this data frame. You might say, well, let's throw out every single row that has at least one missing value. But that's not going to work because every single row has at least, I think, just exactly one missing value. Next, you might say, let's just throw out the columns that have any missing values. But you'd find that you're basically going to need to throw out every single column because each column also has exactly one missing value. So you might be wondering, how could we possibly deal with this? What you might want to do, um, you know, you might be inclined to do is just to say, let's fill something in to those missing values. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right or not, but at least in some sense, it's better than throwing out all the rows and all the columns altogether. And we'll come back to that, but that's actually, um, you know, the kind of proper way to handle this when the missingness is quite low for each of the variables, um, but is relatively high when you take into account all of the variables and all of the rows in the data set. So stay tuned. We'll come back to how to fill these missing values in.